Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. So uh, nothing really happened yesterday. We are still pretty much moving sideways. It does look like a bit of a triangle forming, but I'll get to that just now. And uh, yeah, the oscillators on the eight hour are back at the top and uh, sort of in overbought territory. Now earnings season does kick off tomorrow uh, in earnest, and that's when the banks start. So tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday are the three days where we've got some really significant uh, players releasing their, their quarterly earnings. And I think everybody is just waiting to see what's going to transpire there. You know, if we start looking at the, the three hour, you can see we're pretty much ranging like we did last week. We raged and then we had this little squirt up. So at the moment it is buy low, sell high. And uh, for me, in this kind of situation, I don't, I don't sell. So the trend is up, so I just buy the dips. So we have a pullback, we buy the dips. So yesterday there were two um, opportunities on offer. And uh, what I do want to show here is there's this inside bar, which is a gap as well. So and obviously um, in layman terms, let me just get down to uh, just a lower time frame so I can explain myself a little bit better there. Uh, you might just see it on a three minutes actually. Yeah, okay. So, so basically, if you look at the structure we've got here, so price rejected this area, then it broke through. Okay, we got a three minute test, but it hasn't had a higher time frame retest of this area. Now that line, level is 33.676. Okay, so if we come back to the hour and see there's that level, you can see on the hour bar, there was a tail. So same principle, it's broken through quite aggressively, but we haven't come back to test it. So a very well structured trend, and there hasn't been much of that, uh, we'll come back and test the, uh, the tails. Uh, just trying to see if I can find a well structured one. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Obviously, well, he has a good, no, no, not a good one either. Anyway, that's typically, you know, when you're in a, in a tr strong trend and you're moving to the upside, you typically have this kind of structure. You can see there's a bit of it here, where you know the next bar comes back, tests the previous breakout, there's a previous breakout there, and then rallies. So you know, that this one failed here, uh, this one failed. But that's typically what happens. And when that, when you start missing them like that, you know, price always tends to come back to that area. So as far as I'm concerned, that is our range at the moment. Uh, bottom of the range is uh, 33.679. Top of the range uh, is 33.814. Okay, so we could probably round that off to 33.800, I would assume, if I just drop it to that swing high. Yeah, 33.800. So that's kind of the, the range that we're in, and I suspect we're going to stay in that range until we start seeing some results. Remember, Wall Street is the one that's going to, or the Dow is the one that's actually going to uh, benefit from results coming out uh, early this week. Uh, still this diversions as well. You see how the oscillators are drifting lower while prices are uh, not really drifting lower at the moment. So yeah, it nothing really on offer. Uh, spoke about the triangle. Uh, there's your triangle there, not a very strong one, but it's basically using the bottom of the trend line and there's your top, so there's your triangle, there's your top. When you look at on the higher time frame, it's pretty clear to see. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, you're looking to buy the dips, so whatever pullback you get, you're looking to buy into, no reason to sell this at the moment, so it doesn't matter whether that uh, is on a, let's just work on a 15 minute chart, uh, you look at yesterday, it was horrible. But you can see lots of opportunities to buy. There was an opportunity to buy there. Uh, there was opportunity to buy over here. You can see all this uh, structure here. So you've got uh, inside bars, you've got uh, little pin bars, you've got engulfing bars, you've got uh, all three patterns basically that I look for, which uh, gives you opportunity to buy into it. What you just got to bear in mind is that you are in a range. So you're looking for only 100 points, maybe at 50, maybe 60 points at a time. And you're waiting for the next pullback and you're looking to buy into the next pullback. And you're waiting for the next pullback and you're looking to buy into the next pullback. So that's pretty much uh, what I suspect is going to transpire today still. So I don't see this uh, shooting unless some insider news actually leaks. Then I'm looking for a break and retest of 33,800. Okay, so for me, um, it's buy the dips. Uh, it doesn't matter how 
those dips are at the moment. I'd use a 15 minute chart for that. Get down to the dips. Or even you know, if you've got lots of time, which I know most of us don't do, a lot of us are, are still working as well. So um, you know, any pullback into any form of level or structure. And uh, you, know, you can see there's lots of opportunities to buy into this. Lots of pin bars, inside bars, off the you know, 150 moving average. You can see there's another great opportunity there. So I suspect that's what you need to do today. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.